Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do getting the equations of a parabola. What you need to pay attention to is what is given. When they give you the turning points and a point, then the formula you use is f of x is equal to a into x minus p all squared plus q. Now you substitute first your p and your q. Now what you must remember is that we found that the department doesn't always put minus p. So I'm going to show you what happens when they change that equation. But standardly it's x minus p all squared. So first you substitute your p and q. Number two, you substitute your point. And your aim is always to solve for a. And then depending if they ask you to rewrite it in a certain form, then you would simplify or get rid of all brackets depending on what they say. Now let us look at the equation. Let us substitute and do our work, right? First you're going to substitute your turning points. So your turning points are 3 and 8. So I have y is equal to a x minus 3 all squared plus 8. Now what I want to show you here is that you know that this must be opposite to what is in the drawing. If the department gives you at this point a into x plus p all squared plus q, you still put your minus 3. Okay? Remember your equation sign is different from your turning point sign. So be careful. Sometimes they, they do that. They change the formula sign and then it throws the children off and it throws you off. But just remember the sign in your equation must be different from the sign in your drawing. Now the next point is substitute your point which in this case was 0 and minus 10. So we're going to put minus 10 is equal to a x is 0 minus 3 all squared plus 8. That gives us 9a plus 8 is equal to minus 10. I've got 9a is equal to minus 18 a is equal to minus 2. Now when they give you this equation they don't usually ask you to rewrite it in the standard form. So here you would simply write it as minus 2 x minus 3 all squared plus 8. However if they tell you write it in the form of f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c then it is simply a matter of simplifying. Simplifying is work that is done in grade 10. So it just means get rid of the brackets. So we have f of x is equal to minus 2. Get rid of the brackets which is x squared minus 6x plus 9. You should know how to do this. Simplifying is done in grade 10. If you're not familiar with this, you need to go back and learn your simplifying before continuing. Plus 8. Then we're doing our distributive law which is minus 2x squared plus 12x minus 18 plus 8. Our final equation is f of x is equal to minus 2x squared plus 12x minus 10. But again, I'm telling you, usually when they give us this specific one, where they give us a turning point and point, they expect us to stop at this level. It's not always that they ask for it in ax squared plus bx plus c. Thank you for watching.